hasn't been in this little spot in a long time, so let's see if there's any openings in it. Everything looks like it's overgrown. There's an opening. Oh, come on. I missed one. Oh, come on, there's another one. There's bites. Got all this crap in the way. Got him that time. Yep, got one. Took me a while to get that hook set. It's just a little one though, but I'll take it. Nice, healthy looking fish. Ah, uh, there we go. Good spots and patterns on patterning on him. Good looking little fish. Thought he was bigger at first. Looked like a big one when he jumped. All right, so this is just the dink pond. I mean, there's another pond in this area that's got bigger fish, but they they've closed it all off. It's all private property now. And this is what I call the dink pond. But there's there's a lot of fish in it. And I pulled one that was two pounds out of here, but everything else has been about the size of the one I just landed. There's another one. It's a little better, a little bit better. Not bad. It's pretty big for this pond. Oh, there's a bite. Still on. Whoa. Feels like the best one of the day so far. And he shook it off. Not quite the best one, but it fought the hardest. There we go. They're good looking little healthy fish, but they're all they're all going to be about this size. There we go. That's where I've been getting most of my bites. Right there at that point. There we go. It's not a very big one, but it's fighting pretty hard. Pretty good. Little of them, probably the smallest one so far today. And he went right up into this algae here. <laughs> there we go. Number eight. Yeah. Huh? No, this is on the Sanko. Okay, there's a bite. Got him. Next cast, got another one. A little bit better. Number nine. Had two back to back casts right there. Here's the third one. Oh, I missed him. Three bites. Three bites on three casts. Here's that's a good bite. Got him. Another one. This one's good. Uh, not a big fish, but this is a better than the last couple. Number ten. They, uh, they're all little, but they fight pretty hard. Now in this video, I'm not going to show them all, 
because uh, I'm, I'm working on two videos at once. So I've caught 10 fish, but a couple of them are going to be in the in the other in another video. That video might even come out before this one. I'm not sure. There's another bite. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Psst. Bit me in half. There we go. Another little one. Couldn't even feel them on there. Number 11. Yeah. Oh. I don't know where Greg went, but number 11. There we go. There we go. Uh, little one, but I, <laughs> that was a nice hook set. Did you see it? Yeah. I saw it like moving around and running with it. So, 13. I think my hook set on that little guy was a little excessive, but. <laughs> yeah, that was my John B. hook set. I need to get back into my Gary Yamamoto movements. <laughs> See, I actually only said it like that because I wasn't sure if he had it in his mouth or not. Because, you know, like, sometimes they'll play with the tail or something, and then you give this weird, real wild hook set, and you end up hooking him on the outside of the mouth. That's what I was trying to do. It just turned out he had it in his mouth. 